Good morning, you cracking humans! This is Fabulous Sport from the beautiful British countryside, welcoming you to another great episode of the Cycling Maven! See ya! Good morning, you absolutely cracking humans. I just about tripped over a cord. I am uh, with the Dimension Data crew and Orica Green Edge and Trek and stuff. It's the rest day here in Bern in Switzerland. And uh, we're going to do another Zwift event. How are you, boys? You hey. know what you're doing? All right, good. How's hey, things? Man. How are you? What the hell have you been doing? How are you, brother? How are you? How's things? How are you? Yeah, I'm good. South African African opportunity to be successful, set up the right structures so that they would have everything they needed to be successful. So just going back to the team, how do you recruit the support team? I mean, is that, is that you doing that or do you have a team of people that do all the recruiting? I'm with a fantastic, one of the good guys of cycling, I keep saying that, but this is a genuine star of uh, Australian cycling because he won his world championship in Geelong with Tour Hushoft. Tour Hushoft? Yeah, Tour. Tour. In, uh, in uh, Norwegian. And Hushoft? Yeah. Hushoft. Hushoft. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good to see you. What are you doing here? You've got a tour group? Yeah, I'm here with a Norwegian uh, company, kind of I'm, I'm working for. So uh, the idea is uh, we, invite, we invite Norwegian people to ride their bikes and uh, mm -hmm. when they join me on, the, on, the, uh, on the events and, and on the ride, you can win a trip to Tour de France. So this is people who join me and they want a trip uh, down here. So. Uh, you know, it's good. It's good to see people riding their bikes. It's getting, it's really growing in Norway. So uh, I'm, I'm happy to be back in Tour de France. Okay. Do you miss riding, or it looks to me like you're still on the bike quite a lot? Yeah, I'm still riding the bike uh, now and then. Uh, you know, so I still obviously love riding my bike, but uh, I, I lost a lot of shape, obviously, and uh, but it's still, it's, I still enjoy it. The Norwegian community is enormous at the Tour de France. What is it? You've got a lot to do with that. You and Kurt Assel, uh, they've really built the audience. Um, do you see that it's going to continue? We see uh, this uh, Holstenger, how do we say his name? Yes, uh, Sonder Holstenger. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, the, the, the sport is, is growing and, uh, and I think uh, the Norwegian, we really, we really uh, like sports. We like when... Uh, when uh, our own uh, do well in sport, and uh, and I think uh, the whole uh, the whole little uh, history with wrestles and, and stuff with uh, over the years become really popular, and then TV2 Norway mm. broadcast it now uh, a lot, so uh, it's just growing, growing, growing. Uh, so I, I, I we we have a we have a great future of uh, Norwegian cycling, I'm sure. And the Arctic race is another big uh, rendezvous on the agenda coming up after the tour. Will you have something to do with that? Yeah, I'm working for uh, Arctic Race of Norway. I'm kind of an ambassador, and uh, I helped them from day one, or even before it started, to to give them advices to to support uh, the project uh, because it's quite a crazy idea to to start a bike race above the Arctic Circle. But uh, they made it, uh, and and have been a amazing uh, three years, and and I'm 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 sure also they they're gonna become bigger and, and, and better in the future. So this year already we have 12 or 13 team who's doing uh, who is doing Tour de France now who come there, so which is which is great. Super cool. And then just lastly, because as you can tell by my accent, I'm Australian, we in enjoyed an immense win on the 3rd of October 2010. I still remember the day very well. I remember the sprint uh, perfectly. What what do you have of the recall? Fond memories from Geelong? Yeah, obviously it's uh, it's my big, biggest uh, wrestled in my career. Uh, obviously to become a world champion, uh, and uh, there was such a nice crowd. It was a hard hard course, but I had a, I had a good day, and uh, I will never forget that sprint. Uh, I did up that kind of boulevard uh, 
up to the finish line uh, where I cro crossed the crossed the line first and then became world champion. So I'm still I'm still proud of that uh, obviously every day. And what comes next for Tuj? Are you going to uh, establish a team? Are you going to keep doing cycling trips with fans? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm doing uh, different different uh, stuff, and uh, I, my, my goal is to to have a team, a world tour team. Uh, because now people have talked about it for many, many years uh, in Norway and uh, now have time to, to try to set it up. And I'm, I tried to have it for 17, this is not working. And, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'll try for later, 18. Uh, and uh, you know, I'm used to just try to reach goals. If I don't get them, it, it's like this. Uh, but it's important to never give up. Your popularity is going to help, and so too the immense talent coming from uh, Norway. So I wish you all the best with that project, and I hope it goes well. Yeah, thank you. Thank Cheers. you very much. Next time. Until next time. See you there. Good stuff, Doug. Absolute pleasure. That's a long discussion, man. You <laughs> did so well. Thank you. Oh, that was fun. Sure, it's quite hot, eh? Yeah, you. So hot. What's that, mate? <laughs> we'll give it. We'll give it another hot. Run in the sun. Oh, you, want, you want some more? Thank you very much. Good stuff. All right, you cracking humans. So we just finished the ride with Doug. He's uh, he just said it's probably the furthest he's gone in a year. Yeah. So an hour on on the trainer. But uh, he's looking pretty fit still. He's over there. So we've just finished up for the day, and uh, we're going to head back to the hotel and just have a cruisy day, I think. You're just taking care of business, aren't you? That's why well, you're just doing your thing. <laughs> I do my thing. So Rob is my amazing wingman while I'm over here. While I was doing the Zwift thing, Rob was around interviewing everybody. So it's all good. But uh, we're going to head home now. Just uh, chill out and rest this knee that I've hurt. It is the rest day here in Bern. Um, I've got a cute little hotel room which I'm staying in. It's a single bed, but it's fine. It's very clean. The people here are very friendly and the food is off the chart. So I'm very happy. Um, I'm looking at all of my stages. So we've got these little maps and things. And so basically I'm looking at tomorrow's stage to work out what we're gonna do, what time I need to pick the boys up. Um, Rob and Francois are staying further in the city of Bern. They're actually probably about 15 minutes drive into the center of Bern in Switzerland. And I'm uh, on the outskirts, right? So I'm just, I've got these little, with all the team people. So I'm just looking through my stuff. But to cut a long story short, I haven't, I would have loved to have brought you a vlog today on, uh, on how awesome Bern is because it is a stunningly beautiful city. However, I pretty much haven't left my hotel room and the main reason for that, I'll yeah. show you. So I have done my knee. Uh, I took a bit of a tumble and I've, uh, it's not a major injury, it's the LCL, so it's the ligament down the inside of the knee. Uh, it's not a major injury because the, uh, at the Tour de France they've got this whole amazing medical team and uh, they went and they did a thing where they get a machine and you can actually see the soft tissue on the screen. I can't remember what that thing's called. But um, they told me that I haven't torn the LCL uh, from, I, I've just strained it. So I'm on anti-inflammatories and, and all sorts of things. But the main thing is I can't, I can barely walk. I should really have crutches, but uh, I'm just limping around managing. Um, so I couldn't get into Bern to show you the city, but uh, I'll try and do that tomorrow morning. Today's vlog was really just a bit of a catch up today. I spent the whole day editing yesterday's video, which was amazing on the moto. And look, I'm having a fantastic time. I'm having a great time with Rob and Francois. The SBS crew are amazing. No one 
it's just the best thing that's happened to me in many years. So it is everything it's living up to. Um, but uh, we're pretty tired now, you know, we're quite a few days in, we're 20 days into the tour. Um, we're all pretty exhausted now, Rob's tired and, you know, we're just working every day, I'm doing vlogs every day and and so, you know, it'll be good to sort of settle down back at home when uh, I've had a great time and I'm still continuing to have a great time but I'm also looking forward to getting back and seeing Hannah. But uh, that's pretty much the end of the vlog for today, guys. Uh, list your questions and stuff below. And uh, if you'd like me to do anything specifically over the next few days, if you'd like me to spend time with a team or you go through a bus or if there's anything that you would like to see to finish off the Tour de France 2016, let me know in the comments below and I'd love to, you know, I'm just open, I'm open to ideas. So, uh, but until tomorrow, I'll check you, I'll, oops, a little, I'll see you guys then. How was your day? Francois, you're an award-winning journalist, you? Yeah. Well, it was good in the morning to have this, uh, to receive this award. It was, uh, it was fun. I was, one of my fantasy came true. I was on the podium with the, the oh, hostesses my. kissing me, you know, like I'd won the stage or something. So it was... That was uh, so good. It was good, yeah.